And, and Brian, uh, your headquarters is just down the street, or at least your building here in New York is just down the street. How many people are back at this point, um, and when will you be back at full capacity? Well, in the big arc, what we're saying is uh, we, we, we started two or three months ago tell, asking people to tell us their vaccination status. We now have about 60,000 people in the U.S., 60-some thousand have told us that status. We have about 7,000, 8,000 outside the U.S., which is actually pretty good considering the vaccine. So now we're in the process of inviting those people back to work. We give them 30 days plus notice. And the basic concept is from now to you know, Labor Day or mid-September, you're kind of in that transition mode. And the idea is the vaccinated teammates should be back at work after Labor Day. It sounds like punishment for vaccinated people. No, no, not really. It's just people want to get back to work. I was, it was interesting. I was at this wedding over the weekend and a bunch of young kids working in our industry for a competitor. And they're all like, they're tired of working out of the room. So we have about... You have 10, 15 percent have been there every day, and they've done a spectacular job. Our branch has been open every day. Those group teammates have done a spectacular job. But if you think about, you know, now we're just saying come back, but call center operators and things. So you you got to move people back, and so there's no punishment at all. Ultimately, everybody will be back, and ultimately that will be without everybody masks. Will be back whether they're vaccinated or not. When it, the CDC gives the all cleared operations, one of the tricks is to have in a mixed environment. That's why we're concentrating on the vaccinated people, and and so I think for purposes of city, you know, everybody's worried about it. If you think our kids that graduated 19, they were here all of you know six eight months before this happened. 20, never. never. Yeah. 21. That's 5,000 kids that we are telling by October, including the new ones that were uh, virtually taking through their you know, orientation, that they'll all be back in their seats. And and so you think about all those kids and apartments and activity. So the key is not to lose track of the virus vaccine path and the virus infection path and that that is really if you the number one risk to our economy still is that question mm -hmm. and, and and that's why because if people have to react and shut down that the emotional side of this the mental fatigue will be tough so i think that's what i hope we get right shepherd smith here thanks for watching cnbc on youtube